Hello, this is Ty Anderson, Technical Evangelist for Add-in Express, and this is a short introduction and quick demo of Add-in Express for Microsoft Office and .NET. Add-in Express for Office and .NET is a solid framework for building commercial class extensions for Microsoft Office. Add-in Express fits perfectly with Visual Studio 2013 as our components integrate with Visual Studio to provide a true rapid application development experience. So now developers have a powerful framework for building Office extensions from prototype to final release. Best of all, all extensions built with our framework can support multiple versions of Office as well as multiple Office applications, all from a single code base. Maybe the best way to understand it better is to go through a quick demo of some of our features. First things first, let's create a new Add-in Express com add-in project. The thing to do is to open the new project dialog move to the other project types under extensibility and select the ADX com add-in project template and say OK. This will open up the new Microsoft Office com add-in wizard where we have two decisions to make. The first is to select a programming language which I'll choose Visual C Sharp and then the next is to choose our minimal or minimum supported Office version and I'm going to select Office 2003 and above and say next. In this demo I want to support Excel, Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint, probably the four most popular host applications that are targeted by extensions. I'll click Next and then for our strong name key I'll just select Generate New and say Finish and then Add in Express will create the project for us within Visual Studio. After the project's created the Add in modules open for us in Code View. I will go ahead and open it up within in design view where here we'll see the add-in module design surface which is the location where, where we can place any of the add-in express components onto the add-in module and begin to utilize it for our coding purposes. What I have here is a completed office extension using add-in express that supports Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. I've gone ahead and added all of the components to the add-in module and populated their collections with the controls and items required by uh, business rules of this add-in. And as you can see, when I click one of the items, for example, the ADX ribbon tab down below, you see the visual designer with uh, a tab and a, a group and a button that we also can see in the hierarchy view right over here. And as I move through it, the items selected in the visual designer and the properties light up with the properties for the item that is selected. Also, when I select something like the group, we see all of the controls light up that are relevant or available to be dropped onto the form within this container object. So for example, if I wanted to add another button, I could just add one, or a checkbox, or a ribbon label, or a ribbon combo box, what have you. And as you can see, it's really just like creating a Windows form. It's the same model or metaphor, design experience. And we have designers for the command bar, the, the explorer command bar, the explorer inspector item, and, and many more. Over here, what we see are task pane managers for Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint. And if I click one of them, you see the visual designer really is just a grid. And what it contains is a collection of task panes for PowerPoint. Same for Word, same for Excel, and same for Outlook. And if, you know, if we have more than one, it, obviously there's a row for each. But using this, what we do is we can set the properties for one of the task panes in which what I have right over here if we look at the PowerPoint here is my PowerPoint task pane which is also something we can add to the project by doing new item and moving down into the add new item dialog box where we have integrated into Visual Studio the add-in express items and we have one a view that shows everything but then also Excel different modules Outlook PowerPoint and Word, the different components that we have provided for Office development. And if we move back over to the add-in module, what I also want to point out is our toolbar here where we can add all the different components that we provide from say the ADX command bar all the way down here to application level events which we have all of the Office apps and then even by right clicking we can add and have other options as well. And the add-in module is our container for all of our components as well as uh, you know, we can write code behind it and respond to events and even add our own custom methods. Also, if I select on the ADX demo project here, I can right click 
and I can create a setup project. And what this does is it opens up a wizard that allows me to create a installation project using either the Visual Studio Installer, Install Shield, or Wix. I'm going to hit cancel here and continue the discussion once I've created the setup project. So I have my setup project and one thing I want to show you too is that once you have a setup project built you can also choose a publication model either click once or MSI based and there are different options for each but we've greatly simplified the process of creating deployment packages for click once and MSI based web deployment which we affectionately call click twice. Now I'll walk you through a demo of this add-in in Office 2013, Office 2010, and Office 2003. And as you can see just from the ribbon we have a custom ribbon that contains a button on it that will show and hide the custom task panes that we've created over here over here in the solution explorer and what this button will do is it will take the selection within the application and display it in alert box so let's take a quick look at each just so you can see the power of how quickly you can build custom UIs and components with very little code so here I am in my Office 2013 system and I have open Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. And as you can see in Excel, I'm already showing the advanced task pane. And if I click on the show task pane, we see that the task pane disappears and I click it again and it, it reappears. And I can click on the show selection button and we see that it uh, successfully displays my active cell value or basically my selection. I can say okay. If we move over to Word, same, same idea select something and show selection and there we go and then over here in PowerPoint I already have something selected and if I show task pane what we see here too is another nice feature where my task pane has has been collapsed typical to something like you might see in Outlook and I can expand it or collapse it and at the same time hit the button and it works just as we might expect so let's move on now to Office 2010 so here I am in Office 2010 and we'll just run through these quickly again here with Excel first. I'll move over to the Add and Express tab and we already see that everything's working just like they did in 2010. If I hit Show Selection, great. Show and Hide. Wonderful. Show and Hide. There we go. And the same thing is going to happen here. And it's working perfectly. And again, this is with one code base. There are no changes. You know, it's working with Office 2013 and 2010 and as you'll see in just a second it works just great with Office 2003 as well. So as promised I've already installed the Calm add-in extension on my Office 2003 system and I went ahead and opened up all three uh, applications Excel, PowerPoint, and Word that I want to demonstrate here and uh, let's start with Word and we see show task pane and I can select or hit the show selection button and we see it works just fine. Uh, same thing with PowerPoint, show task pane and there, here we go. And then also with Excel, it's gonna work just fine. The quick demo highlighted some of the challenges of Office development, but I wanna dig in a little bit further into how Add and Express solves these problems. First off, each Office application is different. Furthermore, each version of Office is different. And then each extension type is different from COM add-ins to automation add-ins and more. And lastly, the code required to handle the plumbing of each of these extensions is significant. Let's dig into each of these challenges one by one. First, let's look at how each Office application is different and the fact that Add-in Express supports multiple hosts in a single project. All you need to do is select the add-in module and then change its supported apps property to the applications you want to support. In addition, Add-in Express provides special features for Outlook and Excel. Features like advanced regions for Outlook and task panes for Excel. Not only is each application different, but each version of Office is different as well. But Add-in Express provides a version independent framework so that when you set up your Office extension, all you need to do is choose your base Office version and Add and Express will ensure it works at the base version as well as any subsequent version. Continuing our theme of what's different, each extension type is different as well, but Add and Express provides four project templates to handle each extension's architectural specifics. Simply choose the project template for your desired extension and Add and Express sets up the project for you. 
With Office extensions, typically the code required is significant just to set up your custom UI. But Added Express provides visual designers for things like the ribbon tab, the ribbon context menu, the office command bar, the backstage view, and more, which allows you to handle your extension's business logic and we handle the plumbing. The bottom line is Add-in Express provides one framework, one architecture, one approach, and one code base to support different Office versions, different Office applications, different IDEs, and different Visual Studio versions, including support for Visual Studio 2013. Together, this allows you to build world-class Office extensions with little coding.